I, you know, I think that we've been through a lot of hills and valleys in this profession just since we started in the late 90s, early 2000s. And um, I mean, I certainly think we can name some, some highs. I mean, 9-11 was a horrible incident, but I mean, in uh, months and even years after 9-11, we couldn't get enough hugs from the, from the public. You know, everybody loved police and military and we kind of all got lumped into one. And uh, that was a high, you know, we, we were kind of floated on that high for a few years and then you, then you run into valleys of Ferguson and, you know, now in the last few weeks, the same situation. I watched the video and um, it just kind of made me sick to my stomach. My heart fell when I heard him crying for his mom. Some of the, the emails that we got those first few days were, you know, White Bear Lake needs to ban chokeholds. Well, we didn't allow them to start with. Um, we don't train for that. And just, you know, you have to tra change your training and you have to pr do this training. And I think we, um, what we have done since then is done a better job of sharing with our community the training that our officers do receive because I feel that we're very progressive in it. We've put um, a lot of thought into what kind of training we have, was, whether it's mental health or crisis intervention. And I'm proud of our department that we, we have created that. Um, you have nothing to be fearful of. If you, if you see a problem, say something. And I, I suspect, just like Chief said about, you know, the folks that are standing by and seeing an inappropriate use of force being done on somebody, um, I, I would think that they'd be able to stand up and just go, you know, that's not right. The more informed they are, typically the more satisfied they are. And you can't shy away from informing people of what we do and how we do it and why we do it. Because if you're doing it appropriately, then there's nothing to hide. We don't have the luxury of being able to be political or even personal on the job. We have, we have to do our job and we have to be fair to every member of our public. And I really feel like our department does that well. I think that uh, we understand people's plight and we understand how um, we maybe not, we won't hit a home run every time when we're dealing with the public, but we really understand that our goal is to provide the best service that we can to the citizens of White Bear Lake. We may have some recruiting problems coming up in the near future with, you know, the uh, perception of law enforcement by some in the, in the country or in our state. But I think that uh, over time, I think the right people will get into the profession for the right reason, and I think we'll be able to kind of overcome that. Our officers are very um, dedicated to their community. Our whole department is, and they take great pride in where they work and how they serve and how we are perceived by our community. Nobody wants there to be a poor relationship or even, they don't even want one person to think poorly of us because we try so hard to do the right thing, be the right thing, and be there for our people, our community. And um, it's just really important. We have a great group of people. I'm really proud of them.